to factory reset the Google Pixel 9 Pro or Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. If you're planning on selling the phone, you know, the phone's working just fine. We will first open settings. Then we're going to scroll all the way down. And before we proceed, I recommend going into this backup option and either backing up your data or copying your data to a new phone or maybe your old one. Once we've done that, below the backup option, we have system. So let's select the system. Then we will scroll down and we will select the reset options. And then we're going to choose the erase all data factory reset. So if we want the phone to be sold, we want to turn on the erase eSIMs and I will tap erase all data. This will factory set the phone, make it like brand new. However, what if maybe you forgot your passcode? So let's say you forgot your passcode or, you know, you just can't use the touch screen. Well, then we need to initiate a hard reset. So to do that hard reset, first of all, I'm going to show you the key combination and then we'll do it together. So we press and hold power and volume up for 10 seconds, then we release. We then press and hold power and volume down until we see fast boot mode appear here, then we release. There's more steps after, but that's the first part. So pause the video, prepare your phone, and I'll begin in three, two, one. Press and hold power and volume up. Keep these two held down, do not release. I'll start counting now, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, release power and volume up. Now press and hold power and volume down. Now we need to press power and volume down for like 10 to 20 seconds. So for this video, I'm gonna cut the process until I see fast boot mode. But when you see the fast boot mode show here, just release from the buttons. So I see fast mode and I release from the buttons. So cause I was holding these buttons for too long, it forcefully shut off the phone. So I'm gonna press and hold power and volume down again. When I see fast boot, I'm going to release right away. So once we are in fast boot mode, we need to click the volume down button and keep on clicking this until it says recovery mode. Once that's the case, click the power button and then it should enter recovery mode. So it's going to say no command. So we need to provide a command. And that command is we long press the power button while holding power button, click and release volume up. Now release from all buttons. So the touch screen isn't working here. So we use volume down and volume up to navigate the phone. And so we're just going to click volume down until we see the wipe data slash factory reset. And we'll click the power button to select the option. We will then click volume down and we'll click the factory, uh, the power button to initiate the factory reset. It will bring us back to this screen and then just click the power button to reboot your system. When you do this way, quickly note that if you haven't wiped your Google account, it will ask for your Google account after the factory reset. And so you don't want to use the hard reset if you plan on selling the phone, only use this if the touchscreen is broken. 